First, download the zip file, Aqua Shader. And let's move on to Blender. Go to Preferences, Add-ons. And here, install the zip file. Check the box next to it and make sure to save the preferences. Now in the viewport, press N to open the right panel. And here you can select the aqua shader. Now click on add water cube. And this will add a cube with a tower. But you can delete the tower. This is just to import the foam collection. Now for rendering, make sure to use cycles. This shader only works with cycles. You can use GPU or CPU and I'm gonna set to 32 samples for preview. Also activate the noise. Now switch to render preview. And for lighting I recommend to use an HDR image. Click on color. Select environment texture. And now find your HDRI. With Shift A, I'm gonna add uh, sunlight. Increase the strength in light properties. And choose a color. Now click on Add Terrains. Choose a terrain and hit append. You can customize the water in material properties. I usually use 60 for the scale of the little waves. And you can also choose the color you want for the water. And I think the most important properties are transparency, usually uh, 0.5 or less. Also absorption density. And emission strength for a more artistic look. You can also play with Caustic's visibility. Also, any object that will interact with the foam needs to be moved to foam collection. So select the terrain, press M and send it to foam collection. Now select the water cube. Go to modifiers. And here you can modify the foam. Now go back to material properties. And you can also change the foam scale. For the terrains, you can also customize the materials. In material properties, you can play with grass texture, change rock and grass colors. The bonus terrain pack includes six extra terrains. All materials can be customized. And I will add more assets in the future. Thank you.